guys, what's up? Young Lit Mama, I am back with another video. I am doing pretty good at keeping up on posting for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I hope you are connecting with me. And if you're not, please, please, any questions you guys have, leave them in the comments down below. Leave me a like, hit follow and let's get to know each other a little bit better. Um, you can always find more about me in the description box of, <laughs> in the description box of all my videos. It has all the other places you can find me, whether that be Twitter, um, Instagram, Suicide Girls, OnlyFans, here. I pretty much have it all except for Facebook. So yeah, if you want to check out anything else for me, that's the place to do it. Today's video is actually going to be a little bit stemming off of my last story time. And this is going to be the time that I was scammed by a photographer. So if you would like to jump into that craziness, go ahead and keep watching. Alright you guys, so we are going to go ahead and back it up a few months, probably five to six months ago. And I was hanging out quite frequently, quite frequently with a girlfriend of mine. And I had met her very briefly in Vegas and we kind of hit it off right away. Um, and we kind of just started hanging out, like I said, quite a bit. She was, um, I think eight years older than me. So, you know, there was a little bit of an age gap, but I mean, my baby daddy's seven years older than me. So, you know what I mean? Um, we got along and we hung out quite a bit. So, we were, you know, pretty close, pretty close at this time. You know, we had hung out, we had a couple drinks together, we'd gone to, I've, you know, been to her house, what, what have you, right? Now, she was a model herself. That is how I met her. I met her through going to the Las Vegas Cannabis Awards. If you've not seen that video. Um, I will try to link it in the description box um, like I'm still pretty new to this so if I remember I will do my best to put it in the description box um, I went to the very first Las Vegas Cannabis Awards and um, that's where I met said friend so um, fast forward you know a couple months and we had hung out a few times what have you and I got a text from her, text from her, right? And I will say I had already worked with her professionally. She had offered me the chance to get back into modeling. And if I'm going to be 100% honest, the reason that I even got back into modeling was because of this friend that I had. Um, so... You know what I mean? She did help push me back into being confident enough to want to do it. And she did actually help book me my first gig, if you will. It was a collaboration and it went amazing. I ended up working with him again after me and her worked with him. And it was actually the person that I did my first ever nude photo shoot with. had so much fun and it's actually what helped push me into you know where I am now so that being said I remember her messaging me and I don't remember exactly what it said but it was along the lines of hey girl I have an amazing opportunity for you so I obviously asked what it was and long story short she said that it was a chance to go to White Sands, but it was a couple hours of a drive for us, right? But I was super excited. She said, hey, I have a really awesome opportunity. I have a paid gig for us. 
um, it's over in white sand you will you know it's on this day he's gonna pay us this amount blah 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 right so the whole plan was I was going to drive to her house super fucking early one morning and um, <clears throat> because I lived I think it, I lived like an hour and 20 or an hour and 30 minutes from her so I'd have to wake up super super early in the morning drive an hour and a half to her house get there and then from there we would drive two hours to the photographer pick up the photographer he would pay us a hundred dollars a piece right then and there we would drive another two or three hours to location which was white sands we would then take you know my girlfriend's car and drive from his house to new mexico do our shoot and then um you know drive back and we would be getting back each a dvd or a C yeah a d we would each get back a dvd of all of the raw photos that means like every single photo he took whether he edit edited it or not it would be given to us okay and so that's always really cool but not only that we would be getting like 20 to 50 edited shots a piece and that's because we are going to be doing multiple sets a piece right so <clears throat> she you know explained all of that to me i was super excited about it she said she had worked with him before i asked her to send me all of his information i checked out her page and i went i you know started scrolling down on our instagram until i saw her tag that photographer do you know what I mean so I checked out all of the work she had done personally with him and it all looked gorgeous I then went to his page and he didn't have a lot of followers but um, she was she honestly does have a ton of followers and she'd worked with him multiple times I'd seen her on his page and you know they looked really really good so she had nothing but good things to say about him she said every time she worked with him he would give her a DVD, like I said, of all of the raw photos. And then, you know, within two weeks, she would get all of her <clears throat> edits back. And he paid her. So, I was like, uh, this sounds perfect. So, this was my very, very first paid shoot ever. I will say that. I did get paid. But I'll get to it. <laughs> So let's, now that you guys know kind of the basis of what was supposed to happen, now let's get into what actually happened. <clears throat> so come day of, I wake up 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, and I don't get my face ready. I do remember that. I, w I didn't get my makeup on, but I made sure everything was packed and, you know, I got everything else ready packed my bags put my lotion on washed my face had my hair ready that sort of stuff got the bags in the car I said you know I kissed the baby and uh, daddy goodbye got in the car and started making the hour and a half trip to her house so I finally you know get to her house um, I park my car and I, you know, knock on her mom's door. She answers the door. It's probably like, I don't know, 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And we're supposed to leave at 8 30, 9 o'clock at the latest, right? So she answers the door and she doesn't have anything on it either, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, she's probably, you know, just gonna do what I'm doing and throwing her bags in the car. So then I remember, but wait, she's driving, so it probably wouldn't be smart for her not to have her makeup on, you know what I mean? Because she isn't going to be doing nothing like I am. Like, I didn't do my makeup because I'm sitting shotgun, so I can do my makeup on the way. Um, so whatever, we get there, and she's like, you know, I, I slept in, I didn't hear my alarm, so we're gonna run, we're gonna be running a little bit late, but I already let him know, and it's okay. So I was like, alright, that's fine, whatever. So, you know, we hang out, she's, 
you know, we're talking probably drama and giggling, listening to music, what have you. Talking, explaining to me how awesome this photographer is and how she's worked with him before, blah, blah, blah. So fast forward probably two hours and we finally leave. She's finally got her makeup on and packed her bags and we're out the door. But now we're talking and we really have this idea for a concept to buy a really pretty mirror and put it in the sand and use reflection in our multi. And we are planning on doing a set together. That's what a multi is. So we were planning on shooting one or two sets together at White Sands and we really wanted to have a mirror for it. So um we ended up going to walmart and finding a mirror and i found one right away and it was the cheapest one it was like five bucks right and i was like boom we can split it 250 a piece you know what i mean like love that for me but she was not having it so she insisted on getting this 35 dollar mirror so i said the only way we can get it this was like a big shindig in the middle of walmart but long story short, I said, you know, the only way we can get it is if after our shoot, we return it. Because all I had in my bank account was $15. And my half was $15. So I said, as long as we return the mirror after the photo shoot, it's fine. I don't care. Give the mirror. So she promised me. We bought the mirror and we were on our way. So fast forward an hour and a half, two hours, and we get to the photographer's house. So, you know, I finally meet him, we go into his house, he introduces me to his, like, dogs or whatever. Um, I see his house, we help him get all of his equipment into her truck, he gets in the car, and we go on our way, right? So, now, on our way to actual location, we're already, like, two hours behind. And it's like a two and a half, three hour drive from the photographer's house now. So now <laughs> we're driving from his house to actual location. And, you know, I'm getting to know him. We're chatting, blah, blah, blah. There's a whole kind of like little drama that happened in the car. Um, but long story short, she was being a bitch to me and making me feel like I was this big. I was crying the entire way, but... I didn't really let I didn't really let anyone know whatever um, that doesn't have anything to do with the photographer that has more to do with her bullshit character but whatever um, so we you know we're making our drive I'm getting to know the photographer talking to him what have you he seems really cool we kind of have a little bit in common you know with like music taste and whatever but I I'm into really old stuff and he was old <laughs> anyways so um, now I will fast forward to us getting to location. It's beautiful. We are way late, so we're kind of losing daylight, but it's still gorgeous as long as we get to a spot in the sand that no one else can see us because we wanted to do some pretty nude, implied lingerie stuff. So we finally find a spot and we start shooting and it's beautiful you guys these shots are amazing i'm feeling myself i'm finally i had been working on poses for days before this shoot ever since the first shoot i did with her i fell in love and started researching poses and working on them in the mirror and facial expression what have you so I was, I'm not lying, I was killing it and I can prove it. I have some behind the scenes. Thank God I have, I took some behind the scenes because otherwise I would have nothing to show from this entire day um, and all of this work. So here's some of the behind the scenes sets or behind the scenes photos that I do have. I just think they those alone show you how beautiful these photos were to come out I mean 
after we cleaned up and we were done and we finally, you know, hiked back over the sand and got back to the car and changed, we took turns looking at the photos, you know what I mean? And so we decided that we were going to stop at a Chili's and get dinner <clears throat> before making the drive back to his house. So while we were doing that, I was looking through his camera, right, at all the photos. Oh my gosh, they were beautiful, you guys. I was so excited to get them and show them off and post them on all my social media. And, oh, I was so excited. So I remember we get to dinner, we're at Chili's or whatever, and um, he insists on paying for dinner. I remember I was like, damn, because I had gotten a, a drink of some kind, like an alcoholic drink, right? But he paid for dinner and what have you. So now we make the two, two and a half hour drive back to his house. We drive to his house, we drop him off. He, you know, ensures to me, this is, you know, I'll get back your photos in two weeks. You know, you'll get a DVD in the mail and everything else on your email. Um, you know, check your Instagram in a day or so. I'll send you a preview. I was like, oh, damn, perfect. Super cool. I'm really excited. So now we get back in the car, we make the hour drive back to her house, we get to her house, I get, you know, whatever. I get back home. So now we're going to fast forward maybe a week, week and a half. I haven't heard from the photographer. And me and the girl have a big blowout. So, you know, we're... We, we just aren't friends anymore, we didn't click, we had some issues, right? So, whatever. After our issues, I decide, you know, like, what the heck, I need my photos, you know what I mean? Because I didn't have his contact information. She did. She had his phone number, you know what I mean? She's worked with him before, not me. So, all I had was his Instagram information and the couple messages that we had had back and forth via Instagram, that's it. So a few days passed and I went to message him on Instagram because I hadn't received anything and I wanted to let him know like, hey, send it to me and give him my email and not her. So when I went to look him up, I, you know, I'm searching on Instagram and I'm not seeing him in my messages. So I'm like, ugh, I just have too many messages. So I just decided to go to the search bar and I search his name, nothing nothing pops up you guys so i'm like did he block me what the hell so i search again i search after searching everything he deleted his account he deleted his entire instagram so i don't know if i mentioned but this guy like i said before he was supposed to pay us a hundred dollars he did the minute that we got to his house, he gave her her hundred and me my, my, my hundred. You know what I mean? He paid us. So it's even that much weirder that he deleted his account. He dipped out, you guys. He completely ran off with those photos. I was so confused. Like, he paid me my hundred dollars, took us to dinner, talked, we hung out. We did with this whole thing. Do I mean a really good photo shoot day just to run off? So, I remember, you know what I mean, I have been, I was sad about it, but it's whatever, I learned my lesson. Um, a few months went by, you know what I mean, I'm not friends with that girl anymore, whatever. But somehow, some way, somebody, I think, re, like, um, shared on their Instagram story a picture of her from White Sands wearing an outfit that I distinctly remember from that day. So she, months later, she did somehow receive some or at least one photo from that photo shoot. So I don't know if he mysteriously came back and just gave her her stuff or gave her everything and she just never gave me mine. I don't know if she got pissed off and was trying to reach out to him like I wanted to, but actually had his number and email and got her or just everything back but the like you know what I mean this is the only stuff content I have what I showed you um and you know whatever I put right here um that's all I have 
I don't have any of the work from that day. I don't have any of the time that I put in, the effort that I put in. Nothing. I have nothing. So, um, that's why I feel so scammed. That's why I feel so grimy about it. I feel like, what a creep, almost. Do you know what I mean? You literally, I feel like I was paid just so you could get nude or implied nude photos of me out in the sand like I don't know it's such an odd concept I don't understand what happened I'm really pissed off about it I wish that both the photographer and that girl would have been professional enough to you know put our differences aside and just giving me just give me the work that I put in but whatever shit happens I learned my lesson and maybe I should just listen to other people sometimes because I had heard not to work with this girl but I gave her the benefit of the doubt I was new to the community I was just trying to you know be me and have make friends but sometimes that's not how it goes but thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you will subscribe leave me a comment and like the video let me know if you enjoyed watching these types of videos if you would maybe like some more um, modeling story times but I think the next story time I'm going to do is gonna be more along the lines of addiction and make sure to like subscribe leave me a comment down below of what you want to see from me next turn on your bell hit all so you guys are notified when I put another video up and until next time I'll talk to you guys later bye